Okay, I know a lot of people have purchased an 8-bit version of their um, gimbal uh, and, and this used to be an 8-bit version but what I've done is I've actually upgraded it to a 32-bit with a um, control board and I am dual IMUs from eBay. Now this did not come from Kame. This is uh, a separate controller and uh, and uh, dual IMUs and I wanted to see if like there was some good ones out there if they actually worked and if I could just add it onto this 8-bit gimbal and and it actually works really well and maybe because this was like my most recent build I actually think I tuned this one up better than I did my first 32-bit so I have to go back and fix that one um, but in any case what I did was I took an 8-bit gimbal uh, threw out the controller and the IMU and added a new board with dual IMUs from eBay and so to show you guys what that looks like um, you can see this is not the same type of IMU that you'll get with the the came equipment and you notice I only have one bolt in here right now um, I need to do one more hole which I have to drill because it doesn't line up perfectly on this frame um, but for, for in the meantime I've just done some uh, a little bit of foam and double sided tape because I wanted to test the system out so I have one more bolt to drill in here now as far as the frame IMU uh, I don't have a mount for this so if you look closely what I've done is uh, I've actually mounted it sideways so I have the bolts one on top of the other uh, because this is a round tube I was able to, to go right down the middle and keep my IMU um, straight. Uh, if I did it the other way around uh, I would never be able to tap into this curved um, pipe here but by doing it one on top of the other I was able to mount it directly to the frame. So if you guys plan on upgrading your your gimbal on the frame IMU you could do the same just one on top of the other. Now I did add a little bit of a neoprene back here to kind of give some spring tension and then just tightened it over the neoprene um, and that help, holds it in place pretty square. So uh, I, I drilled small holes into the uh, tube just big enough for these bolts and then um, forced the bolts in and, and threaded them in so they hold uh, very well. So I didn't do anything different, um, nothing special, just drilled holes just large enough for these bolts and then just kind of tap them in slowly. Uh, so that's how you can mount your frame IMU if you're try trying to upgrade. So um, I'll have a link to this actual control board and dual IMU uh, if you guys are looking to upgrade your setup. Uh, what I'll do right now is I'll, I'll uh, demo the, uh, the performance of this gimbal just to show you that it works. All right, so that was just a quick demo of how stable it is. Again, I'm shooting with a 5D, uh, was a Mark II right now, so you can see how much weight I'm carrying. And, um, you know, uh, I know some people have bought the 8-bit, and you have to pay to upgrade to the 32-bit, but it is just so worth it, way more stable. It seems easier to configure, and if you guys are planning on doing that, um, and you're looking for something, you could find these, uh, these boards for uh, you know probably hundred fifty bucks or maybe less sometimes um, and it's definitely worth the upgrade you're just gonna get it's just gonna be easier to handle the gimbal overall and uh, it will be able to maintain uh, stability over a longer period of time um, so if you again if you're looking to upgrade you can get the aftermarket stuff you're thinking about mounting the frame IMU you could do it in this fashion right here um, and then the top one it's not going to line up perfectly with this frame um, so you'll have to probably uh, drill a second hole here and I'm gonna do that later uh, but for now um, it, it's working fine uh, proof of concept I guess alright that's it